What's up, everybody? What's going on? Hope all of y'all are doing undeniably fan freaking tastic out there. I know I am because tonight is Impact Wrestling's Victory Road 2023 event, and today I'm here to ramble about some of the matches happening tonight. All right. So first up, let me talk about this Impact Knockouts World Championship being defended by Trinity, who defends against Alicia Edwards. I'm, I'm finally glad that Alicia is being in a championship match. Besides just being Eddie Edwards' wife on the show, but <sighs> sorry, Alicia, Tr Trinity's way too um, popular right now. She she's way too over in Impact just because she's there. All right, but I really do hope this match kind of can put Alicia more on the map than she has been recently. All right, next up we have an Anything Goes match between PCO and Bully Ray. Now, <clears throat> I was expecting a match like this to happen at Bound for Glory, but if they stay the current course, it might still be able to happen, but just under a different stipulation. But th th there's something brewing about PCO. Now, mind you, um, I'm, I'm filming this episode of Ring Ramblings like about a week before the actual go home episode of Impact because I'm going to be super busy that weekend. But, um, y yeah, like, recently, the last time I saw PCO and Bully Ray have an interaction, PCO was trying to chase Bully Ray. PCO got, like, locked behind the door, and Bully Ray was, like, screaming at him, and he was trying to get to the man. He, he, he was trying to get to the man of PCO and not the monster. Alright? So I don't know where that's going to be going. But my my interest is peaked in this situation and I'm wondering where they're going to go with it. I mean it's going to be kind of heartbreaking not to see the monster going forward if this works in Bully Ray's thought process but we'll see. We'll see. Alright. But yeah I, th I think PCO is going to win this match. I do. I think, I think he has to. Alright, next up, the Impact X Division Championship is being defended by Leo Rush, who defends against Kushida. Man. So, Kushida, he just won Ultimate X, and he's trying to prevent Leo Rush from cashing in Option C. Mm. This is tricky. This is tricky. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say Kushida just because I don't want to see Leo Rush cash in option C. I have nothing against Leo Rush as a talent, but there's just something that I can't connect with when it comes to Leo Rush, okay? Yeah, the dude's talented. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the dude's cool, but I can't get behind the guy for some reason. I, I, don't, I don't know what it is. Alright. Alright. Next up, the Impact Digital Media Championship is being defended by Kenny King, who takes on Tommy Dreamer. But this match is a career versus title match. Alright. That means if Tommy Dreamer loses, he's finally going to retire. And I hate to say it, but it, 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 this doesn't look too good for the Dream Master. It don't. I mean, Kenny King just got the title. And he hasn't been impact. No, he, he hasn't been a champion in impact in quite a few years. <laughs> and I, I was gonna say we don't have that too. We don't have too many uh, ECW originals competing these days. But heck, I just saw RVD have a good match with Jungle Boy or Jack Perry on Dynamite a few weeks ago. So RVD's still out there somewhere, ying yanging it around. <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh well. So, man, I don't want to see Tommy Dreamer lose. I don't. But knowing Kenny King, he, he, he's going to use some dirty tactics to win this match. I know he is. Uh, I'm going to say Tommy Dreamer for the upset. Screw it. I'm going to say Tommy Dream for the upset. Please, Tommy, don't lose this match. Please don't lose this match. 
Alright, next up we have Jordan Grace versus Diana Perrazzo. Seems like Jordan Grace, she's kind of a, turning a little bit of a heel, isn't she? That, 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 that's the way it's feeling right now. So, at Diana, I don't know what she's about to be doing. She's fresh off the feud with the Trinity, so I don't know where she's going to be going from here. So, Jordan Grace, she just came back. I feel like uh, she's going to be getting pushed a little bit more slowly but surely. So, to help push this more aggressive side of her, I would say, yes, let Jordan Grace win the match. And right, next up, we have Josh Alexander versus Steve Macklin. This should have been the main event of one of the recent pay-per-views. It should have. But Josh got injured. Welcome back, Josh. And Steve Macklin, he's been waiting for this match. So, Josh Alexander has to win this match. He does. He, he does. Ask me a few weeks ago. I think it was like Hard to Kill. Ask me a few months ago at Hard to Kill if Josh didn't get injured. I would have said Steve Macklin. But, no, not tonight. Not, not, not tonight. I'm sorry, no. Jo jo Josh is going to win this match. Alright, and lastly, the Impact Tag Team Championships are being defended by the Rascals, who take on the Motor City Machine Guns, Chris Sabin and Alex Shelley, who's also the Impact World Champion. So, hmm. I wonder if they're going to, I wonder if the only reason they're doing this is to, like, pull off an AEW situation. You know, because MJF, he just like a, him and Adam Cole just won the Ring of Honor Tag Team titles together. But, man, it's the Rascals though, like, the only reason they, I, 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 I don't want to see the Impact Tag Team Champions just like, you know, skip again. Like, the last two champions may be transitional if Motor City Machine Guns won this. Because, what was it? Subculture, they just won it. And they immediately dropped it to the Rascals. And now the Rascals will look like they're going to be immediately dropping it to Motor City Machine Guns. I still stand by saying we should have got Alex Shelley versus Chris Sabin at Bound for Glory. Ugh, that sucks. Alright. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I think the Rascals are going to win this match. They are. If the Rascals do win this match, they got to go over on Chris Saban. That, that, that's just my opinion. But alright folks, that's been my rounds about Victory Road happening tonight. Hope all of you will enjoy the show. And best of luck to all the wrestlers competing for the, for the night. I'm pretty sure they're going to kill it. And yeah y'all. If you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to self standard Programming for more ring ramblings, wrestling talk, wrestling footage, and a bunch of other random stuff. So until next time, make sure all of you remember to be outrageously optimistic year-round. Booyah, I'm out.